to everyone tuning into this video today. Today we're gonna to cover how to do your gate IO taxes fast using the Coin Ledger app. Now, if you don't already have a Coin Ledger account, it's completely free to sign up. You can do so from our website, coinledger.io. It takes just seconds to get started with us. Now, today we're gonna to show you how to import your gate IO transactions using the API or automatic import method. First, head to your gate IO account and log in. Once you're there, you're gonna to head to the top right corner and select the user icon and then navigate down to the API management tab. Once you're there, head to API V4 keys and make sure not to select V2, but instead V4. Now that you're there, select create API key. Here you can configure your new API keys, name it anything you'd like. In this case, I'm gonna name it test. And the most important thing to select is spot margin trade and wallet. Additionally, you're going to select read only for both of these, as CoinLedger only needs read only access to your spot margin trades and wallet transactions. Then select confirm and create. Now that you've created your API key in secret for Gate.io, make sure to copy them down to a safe place and then head over to the Coin Ledger app. From the Coin Ledger app, navigate to the import page and then select add account in the left corner. Then you can look up Gate.io and once it comes up, select auto import. First, input the API key and then the API secret that you just created. And then Press sync transactions and watch your transactions imported into CoinLedger. All right, now that our transactions have been imported, we can review everything that was brought over from our Gate.io account. Heading over to the review step of the CoinLedger app, I can view each transaction that was imported from Gate.io. For example, on the right-hand side here, all I have to do is select Gate.io as my account, and I can view each deposit, trade, withdrawal, etc that was brought over from my Gate.io wallet. Finally, we move on to the tax report stage of our app and filing our crypto taxes. Here, I can view my capital gains and losses for the year, as well as my capital gains and losses broken down for individual transactions that I just imported. Here, I can see the gains and losses I made on some of my trades. Here I can see that I lost money on my Ethereum and Bitcoin trades and also see that I made money off of my NFTs as well as a whole host of other transactions that I unfortunately did end up losing money on. Now, there are three ways to file your taxes using CoinLedger. Number one, you can download the tax form that's applicable to the country you're filing taxes in. I'm using a US account, so at this point, I'm showing the IRS form 8949. However, you might see a different form depending on the jurisdiction that you're filing taxes in. All I have to do in this case is generate my form and a link will be sent to the email on my CoinLedger account. I can then use that to file my taxes directly with the IRS. Another way to file your taxes using CoinLedger is to invite a tax professional to do that for you. Here in the top right corner, you can select add tax professional and enter their personal information before clicking send invite. This will give them access to your CoinLedger account so they can file your crypto taxes for you. The final way to file your crypto taxes using the CoinLedger app is to do so with a preferred tax filing software of your choice. Here I can see all of the tax filing softwares that CoinLedger supports and I can actually download a uniquely formatted file that's compatible with each of those services so I can import my capital gains and losses from CoinLedger into those apps. For example, I can download this Tax Act file and import it directly into my Tax Act account to do my taxes there. All right, so that was a review of how to do your Gate.io taxes fast using CoinLedger. As we said before, make sure to sign up for a CoinLedger account if you haven't already. It's free and takes just seconds. And thank you so much for watching this video today.